Hey, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the thumbnail, I have some new parts that I'm going to install and want to take you guys with me. I don't know, this is a weird intro. I don't know what to really say. But yeah, over the holiday weekend for Thanksgiving, went down to San Diego for my daughter's birthday at Legoland. Zoe. So that was awesome. As I was down there, I also went to go hit up Mike Jones, who also owns a Kona N. Give him a follow here or here. I don't know where I'll place his IG. Definitely give him a follow and shout out to Mike again for helping me order or doing a group buy for this carbon fiber hood, as well as the CSR lip. But I'm gonna save the CSR lip for a later time. I do wanna sort of update the lip kit that I have. I currently run the Flow Designs one, but I'm thinking because the CSR is a gloss black finish. I want to switch it up so I'm looking at some other lip kit options like Maxton I think is probably my the main one that I'm gonna try to aim for. So we'll see but today might be a short video but I'm gonna install this hood. So before we install the hood I gotta wait for my friend and I'm actually watching my son now so it's kind of hard with the new baby. Daddy duties first. Daddy duties. But here's a preview of how the hood looks on Mike's car. Again, shout out to Mike, he's a real one, and helped me acquire the hood. I'll drop a link in the description for the pieces, and stay tuned. Here's the hood. All right, change of plan. Friend couldn't make it, and obviously it's nighttime. As you can see, it's not daytime anymore. So, don't have any help because I don't want my kids to drop the hood. And my partner has the baby, so I'm gonna try to Install the hood myself. I don't recommend it. It's probably better to have a extra pair of hands, but let's see how we can possibly do this. So I'm thinking I'm gonna loosen these ones up. This one's already loose. And then gonna have the hood sit like so. Let's see if I can do this. Sort of loose, going to prop it up like this. And then seeing if I can get under with my hand here like this and unscrewing it and then lifting it this way out into the darkness so definitely don't recommend it probably better with two hands but you gotta do what you gotta do so here is the hood i'll unbox it and show you guys the details after i get the oem hood out so let's get to doing that Two bolts. Two more bolts. Yeah. All right, hoods off. The method worked. You can do it with one person. Let's see if we can. I think we got to take the wooden parts off the carbon fiber, but this will be the first reveal of the hood. Yeah, it's probably just, you know, carbon skin. They have the aluminum here, but it is, I would say, half the size of, half the size, half the weight of the OEM hood. We might need to repurpose. There's like a bump stop here, but then this one looks like it's filled in. Here's where the hood prop goes. And then we actually have some rain trays here. Right now they're covered. We can always get to it later, so we'll just leave that. Right now, let's just worry about wood slots. And then and let's flip it over. And enough uh, teasing you guys. Yeah, here's the hood. Got the vents here on the side. Again, like I said, the rain trays are on, but once we pop those off, hopefully cool the engine off, but yeah, I like how the hood is more aggressive. 
should I paint the hood and keep the vents carbon fiber or I kind of like the red with the whole hood maybe get the fenders eventually but let me know in the comments below maybe I'll do a poll I don't know should I wrap it too maybe there's a wrap that's close to red yeah sorry I'm like out of breath out of shape but man probably have to you know wipe this down with some polish add a little bit of a uh, ceramic coat uh, spray that I have but this is looking pretty sweet let's see how the fitment is and if I can get this on like I took the hood off just by myself so stay tuned Here it is, carbon hood installed. Got the vents. I did drop my light. Don't know how I'm gonna get that. You know, in terms of fitment, it's pretty spot on. A Little bit of a gap here. Might need to adjust, but it is pretty fit. I'm rambling a bit, so let's wait till the morning and I will clean things up and give you some more B-roll to see how it looks, because it is kind of dark out here, so stay tuned. Recording. Sorry for the weird angle, but just wanted to shoot an outro, do a little drive as we go, and let me give you my thoughts on the hood. Of course, this guy doesn't stop in front of me. So, as you can tell, I have the new hood installed. Definitely recommend put it, uh, having it on with two people, as it was a little difficult to adjust. But if you just by yourself, it's very doable. Just use some boxes or something to prop up the uh, hood, and you should be pretty good. Just be careful. And one tip is I should have masked the edges of the fender where the hood lines up, so that there's no scratches. I did ding the fender just a little bit. Definitely mask out if you're doing it by yourself the areas where the hood will come in contact when you're installing it. In terms of fitment, you saw that. The driver's side has a little bit of a gap. I hit up Mike and he has a similar issue. The adjustments might have to be needed. Also, whoa, 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 whoa. He's looking to put some hood pins on, but you know, I've driven on the freeway. The hood latch latches, for lack of a better term, latches on pretty well. It hasn't come loose so far, so knock on wood. The other thing is um, the rubber bump stops. There's four of them on the OEM hood. The smaller ones, not applicable because the hood has those holes closed and then i tried using the bigger rubber bump stops or i don't know what you call them the rubber pieces that come on the hood i tried putting it on the carbon hood and it just doesn't fit all the way tightly so what ended up happening when i tried to put that on the hood is that it uh the hood did not close all the way so i ended up taking those off so i might have to find another solution or like a smaller rubber bump stop but other than that i haven't had any issues so far i've only driven a little bit um, again nothing crazy or track days overall i think the fitment is good um, outside of the driver's side which you know i don't mind if it's like a little off it's even with OEM hoods or new new body panels things aren't gonna line up perfectly the first time and my bumper and passenger fender is a little janky so I might have to just do a overhaul eventually. You probably can't notice it on camera but it is something that's sort of like when you do see it you do notice it and kind of annoys me. I don't know if you have OCD or a little bit of a, um, a little OCD on, on certain things but you know it's not a Porsche. It's not like a high-end sports car but I do love this car and all the capabilities that it has so do want to treat it um, or have it as nice as possible. I'll drop a link in the description to where you can get this hood. It took about two to three months. Um, so shout out again to Mike Jones for the plug. We um, did a group buy, so maybe you guys can coordinate your own group buys. It, it did cu uh, cut the cost down of shipping a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure of the exact price, so you might have to work that out with the seller. But yeah, I'll drop a link in the description. Also, if you're watching this, I just dropped the endless holiday plushies of the Kona N on Tiger Speed Shop. So these came out pretty cute and I think they're pretty cool. The only thing is I don't have every single color. I have all the US colors plus 
performance blue I know there's things like gravity gold and different blacks and reds and in, in different regions but I did stick to just general colors of the US because we're basic out here so yeah I don't know I'm starting to ramble but if I'll drop the discount code on the screen below I do go through a third party so if you're looking to buy this for Christmas it might not come in time by the time you watch this video but I'm gonna run the sale all through December starting today or starting when I drop this video uh, and check out Tiger Speed Shop shout out to everyone who bought stuff for Cyber Weekend thought that was it went well and um, yeah, just love to see the continued support. Makes it that much more special for me. So anyways, starting to ramble. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.